everyone, and welcome to Drake Makes. Today we're going to use this Insta Deform component to instantly add visual deformation capabilities to our vehicles and more. In other words, we're going to squish some cars. If you want to get started in Unreal Engine 5 and make your own games from the ground up, this video is sponsored by Wingfox. Their latest course coming out teaches you how to make a first-person shooter with first-person animations and controls, great for laying the foundation of your future projects. Courses on Wingfox are 50% off until December 6th, and by using my link in the description in code BFCM, you get an additional 30% off on these courses. Check it out, it's the best way to support the channel. And now for some car crushing. Alright, here's how it's done. First, you install the Insta Deform component to your engine. Enable that big guy in your project plugins and restart the engine. To let these cars be destroyed, go ahead and open up their blueprint and add a component and choose that Insta Deform we've just enabled. Adjust the scale of the deformations by tweaking these numbers over here in the right. And furthermore, unchecking Protect Underbody really lets you mangle these things. In the end, I have my settings like cartoonishly extreme, but it was more fun having the cars just warp upon collision, so I kept the numbers really high. Navigating now to the car's physics mesh, I select all of the components and enable simulate hit events. Save this, and that's that. The Insta Deform component is now functional. The only issue is the wheels remain unaffected, so if your car is completely twisted, they're just going to remain floating in space. You're able to do stuff with skeletons to fix this, but I didn't tackle that this week. I promptly added the Instant Deform component to all of the vehicles in the pack and enabled simulate physics on some of the props placed around the map. With all of this set up, I was inspired enough to make an entirely new racetrack level as a one-day build. So enjoy the build and we'll be back at the end with more real-time gameplay. Starting with a fresh level and using the spline component, I shaped out a typical racetrack chain. I then assigned a simple rectangular model with a Megascans texture to the splines and shaped them down to size. Then added to the project the Research Mega Facility Pack to kitbash together a tunnel type environment. Before getting too far along with the level art, I set up the cell shader so I know what the final look is going to be. After that, I just put in some music and got some more level art practice in. when it comes to level art. Although this pack I'm using, for example, has over like 700 different assets, it's not like I'm using every single one of those. I try to select a palette of assets at the beginning of like six or seven and then try to stretch those as far as I can. So as far as the physics objects go, the barrels, barriers, and arrow signs all have physics applied to them with different weights. I don't think the weights are very accurate because sometimes a simple barrel will completely cave the side of the car in the finished demo here, but that's kind of fun and hilarious, so I kept it that way. I cut out a lot of footage of me just scrolling through my asset library trying to decide what pieces to use, especially when trying to close either end of the tunnels. For some reason I was hitting a lot of creative roadblocks here. We got there in the end though. As you can see I'm using a mix of smooth walls, pure stone, and then these window type structures with a diffused light coming through them. I treat these three different segments of wall as modular pieces. 
and that way I was able to click all of this together pretty quickly despite the relatively large size of the map. line here. I hope you've enjoyed the royalty-free music. With that, here's the results. So that's that. For a few days work, this is a pretty fun little driving simulator. I hope you've enjoyed this video and got some useful tips out of it. If you did or feel inspired, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.